So our first goal today is to find us a paint color for the calipers. Ooh, that was a good one today. All right, we made it to OB. Hopefully they have some colors I like. Let's see what we got. I want like a darker gray. That red's pretty cool. I don't, I don't need red though. I this color. Yeah. Ooh, I like that, yeah. That's not bad. All right, let's see what this guy, but I do like this. this is a good contender. That's a bit, mm, a little bit too light. I love this one, one of these. Oh, this is my, that's why I just pulled that. Oh, right there. Yeah. 60, I'm only trying this 20 here. It's a little bit lighter. This is a bit more blue. What do you think? The darker one or this one? I think I like this one better, yeah, the 60. Okay. All right, so we've got our color here. A really nice, like, dark gray, but a lot of metallic, in, which is cool. And I got me a can of uh, gloss clear as well. So I think this would be a nice color. It's not too in your face and too bright. Obviously, we could do, like, a, a red or a blue, but I want it to be kind of subtle, but still a nice, a nice color. So I think it's going to work out really, really well. So we came here for paint, which I got, but then someone decided uh, she wanted to get... <laughs> oh, those little plants. Oh, world class gardener. Ooh, yeah, Arthur, too. Look at that Volvo wagon. I think it's sick. I like those a lot. Look how nice colors in the sun. Such a cool, like, dark charcoal gray with all the little metallic flakes in it. I think that's really good. So, before we can go ahead and start painting these calipers, like I said, I have a rebuilt kit coming for these to do new slides, new seals, and a new piston on the inside. So, first things first, we'll go ahead and disassemble the entire caliper and I'll show you guys how, and then we'll get it prepped for paint. So, first thing we're going to do. There's a bolt right here and right here. We're gonna separate the top half from the front part of the carrier here. And once we have that apart, we're gonna work on getting the piston out of in there. So I've gone ahead and sprayed all of these, this one, this one, this one, and the piston with um liquid wrench. So hopefully it's easier to come apart. It shouldn't be too bad, I hope. But we're also gonna pull off this ABS catcher here because my car does not have that, so we won't need that at all. So we'll get rid of this. And I'm also gonna break free and take off the whole brake line. I guess I could leave it on, but we'll see. But these ones here on the back side of your caliper, right here, this one and this one are both 13s. So we'll start with those and get this thing separated and then go from there. Hopefully they're not on there crazy, crazy tight. I wish I had a vice, but I do not, so. Oh, there's one. Nice. All right, one more. We got this. There it is. Not too bad. So once these slides come out, we'll replace them anyways. Let me go ahead and pull off our top arm here. This is actually my first time pulling apart a caliper. So, I mean, I watched the video, so I mean, I should be professional at this point. But it all looks pretty straightforward. The guy I watched though had like an open hole in the back of his caliper where we could actually like pop his piston out. This one does not have that, so might have to find a different way to do that. So that's out. So this should just come off now, like that. Simple enough. And these slides, I think just pull right out. And we'll be getting out yeah, there. So there's your slides. We'll be getting new ones of these, along with new little or boots to go around them. So that'll all be nice and new. So there's that. And now. I'm gonna try and get this uh, this piston out of here. All right, so what I've done here, I went through and I used my liquid wrench and I sprayed all around this piston to hopefully it loosens up a little bit. But just a minute, we're gonna go ahead and get this brake line pulled off. 15? Nope. 14. 14. Nice. So there goes that. So we'll pull this out of the way. And I think the way the guy showed it is he put compressed air from the back that helped push this out. But I also don't have that, so we will throw out away. There is some brake fluid in there, but dump some of that out. Looks really thin in there, so that's good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set this to the side, and now we'll see if I can't make some progress with this. I'm gonna try and just tap it forward. Don't forget, we're gonna get a new piston anyway, so any damage under this one. We'll be okay. Actually, I'm gonna try and clean some of this gunk out first. Pull the seal out of the way. Can I pop this out? Let's see. Pop the seal out of the way. Actually, once behind the seal, this section actually the piston actually looks fairly clean. I'm gonna pop it out and inspect and we'll see. So we can pop it forward a little bit. I 
I don't think that's working, so we'll have to try something else. So I was trying my best with the um, the mallet here. I couldn't get the piston to break free, so we're gonna try this. Kind of a, a weird setup, but it might work. So I have this vice grip that has this cool little like welded on like handle with it. So I've wrapped it around the bottom of the jack. This I will lift up, and hopefully I can pull the piston straight out. It's kind of weird, but honestly, it might just work. As the jack goes up, this is going to hold onto the piston there and hopefully pull it right out. Let's see what we got. Okay, didn't work. I want to put something on here to kind of hold this better, but I think it may have moved a little bit. Round two. All right, round two. I've tried to hopefully brace this a bit better so it doesn't slide off this time. And hope that's enough to hold it. I can't tell if it's working or not. I don't think it is. Nope. Oh, well, it was a good try. All right, so this method here was not working, but then I realized I also need to pull out the um the bleeder screw. So I pulled that out, and I've been just holding this side and kind of using my mallet to hit the top of here. And now it's actually coming out. So a few more smacks, and we should have it. But yeah, I forgot about pulling the bleeder screw itself out. So now both of those are out of the way, and a few more hits, we should have this out of there. All right, here we go. This is it. So a few more taps to the top, and she should be out of there, hopefully. Slowly but surely. There she is. We got her. Whew. Now all we need to do is get inside here and there's a seal on the very bottom. So there's this outer cover. So that one and there's a seal in there. We'll pull both those out. And this thing is officially gonna be painted. Now actually inside of there, you can see that. It's actually fairly clean. So these aren't too bad. We're just gonna put a new piston anyways, but this section here, so this thing should be working no problem, which is awesome. All right, cool, one down. So that, my friends, is how you pull apart your copper there. We have everything completely off the brake line, the bleeder valve, the pistons out, the seals are out, and also our uh, carrier arm here. Make sure you remember to pull out the bleeder valve. That way your piston comes out easier. But there she is, now we're ready to go through and sand everything smooth, primer and paint it. All right, both calipers have been fully disassembled. The second one's actually a lot easier to do. I remember to pull the bleeder valve out. That way the piston came out much, much easier. So now we have all disassembled ready to go from our slide pins to our seals to our bleeder valve, our piston here, our carrier, and our caliper. Everything is ready to be sanded and primed. These ones actually, look inside there, they're not bad. There's like not really any rust in there. It's pretty clean. So these should have been in fully working order before this, but we'll do a nice rebuild, make them brand new. Even the pistons themselves, Pretty clean. There's a little bit of rust in the very top section there, but all this through here is quite nice. So now we're ready for paint. So after some good old German wheel cleaner and my wire brush, these things came out super clean. It helps as well. They're already clean being with like there's no like pitting, there's no rust spots. So it's got a little, little dust and dirt layer off it. But other than that, we are ready to prime them. I'm gonna go ahead and hang them all from here so I can spread all angles and really get a nice coverage on all these things. The time has come. All our pieces are fully disassembled, cleaned, and ready for the first layer of primer. They look so good. Primer is done. Let this dry for about 30 or so minutes. And they'll come back with our first layer of color. Both are looking pretty good. I did my best to make sure I got every angle with the primer. You always want to have a good base before your paint comes out. So I try to make sure I got into every little nook and cranny throughout here. So hopefully I got all the coverage. I think I did. Let's say I did. I think this car is going to look really good on these calipers. Not too much in your face, but just enough. All the primer is now dry. I'm starting to run out of light. I actually had to move the operation over like four or five feet to put it back in the sun. But even then, I'm still running out of light. So I'll probably do the layers of silver today, let it dry overnight, and pick me up tomorrow before I do the clear coat. Because I want these to dry. And there's, there's no rush right now, so I want them to really dry nicely. And I want to do a good job on these things. This color's going to look so good. 
Dude, there's so much flake in it. That's awesome. Wow, this paint covers like insanely. That color. Let's see, that's real fast. Just a first light layer. Look how nice that is. It's so shiny and metallic -y. Exactly what I wanted. I've done two layers at this point and the color looks so good. Just a nice like charcoal gray. You can see all the little metallic flakes in it. And then over here in the shade, it's kind of a more subtle, just dark gray, but it looks so good. The color already popped so much. I ain't even done clear coat yet. I like this car a lot. And this can here, this paint sprays really, really nice. It covers like crazy. So we'll probably do one or two more layers and I'll let them dry overnight and tomorrow we'll do the clear and they're gonna look insane. All right, so I did four total layers and all the pieces. I have a little bit left in case I missed some spots, but I don't think I did. The color is just sick. It's such a, I don't know, it's just like a subtle color, but when the sun hits it, it pops so much. I think this color with Miley and then peeking through the Zobbers is gonna look so, so good. I'm gonna let these dry overnight and then tomorrow we'll hit it with the, um, the clear here but i'll give you guys a quick update on the um the lorenzo brake calipers over here so i talked to pete from fabulous manufacturing he actually said it would be no problem for me to send these to them and have them either modify this bracket or make me a new one but boys we're gonna have brackets made for these things or these ones modified but these will fit on miley which is gonna be absolutely insane now i have to do more research for pads and all other kind of stuff but it's looking like at some point the lorenzo's We'll end up on Miley, which is going to be so, so cool. We also got to think about what kind of color scheme we want to do on these ones. Should we do the same kind of charcoal gray I did in the G60 ones on this? And then maybe do like the Lorenzo, just an outline in white, possibly? Or maybe do it all the same? Or do it like in the block Lorenzo? I don't know. What do you guys think? What kind of Leave some uh, suggestions down below. What kind of color scheme do you think would look good on these calipers if we actually do end up running them? I mean, paint match would be cool, but trying to paint match <laughs> this color is almost impossible, but... That could look kind of cool with the white or maybe do them in black with a white lettering. I don't know. There's a lot of options, but these things are going to be so sick if we actually end up running these things. Like, they're huge. I think we're just about done with the video for today. Like I said, we'll go through tomorrow with our clear coat and finish up our calipers here. And then as soon as my rotors and my rebuild kit get here, we're putting these together and slapping them on the car. And then we are going to the Nürburgring. It's been far, far too long. And what's really crazy is today is May 25th. Last year, one year ago today, we had just gotten to Germany. It's crazy how fast time flies, how much the channel has grown. You guys have been so supportive, so thank you guys so, so much. But it's crazy. We've already been here a year. We have a house. There are literally Volkswagens galore. I mean, like, it's honestly just crazy how fast time just it goes by. That's why I always say, don't forget, be thankful for every single day. You guys never know what's going to happen. Tomorrow's never guaranteed. The next five minutes of your life aren't guaranteed. So just be thankful for it. Like, it's just crazy. Like, we just got here to Germany, and now it's a year later. Like, where did the time... It's, it's, it's crazy. So, again, thank you guys so much for all the support of this past year. It's been wild. But that'll be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.